Hello everyone, in this video I'll be covering everything you need to know about the quest to shoot out Pitnik in Escape from Tarkov. So, you will get this quest from Prapple, and it's a very early game quest, and all you need to do is eliminate 15 scavs onwards. So, what I'll do is, I will tell you my recommendations on the weapon you can use, the ammo, attachments, then we'll cover the best places to kill these scavs and find them, so, let's start off with a gun. So, the gun I recommend is here, the OPSKS, which you can purchase from Jaeger, level 1. If we go to level 1 here, scroll down. So you can purchase the OPSKS for 33,197 rubles. And for the bullets, I would then recommend this one here, the 7.6239 HP. I'd recommend buying a very little amount of these, just enough to fill up one or two mags, so like 20 or 40 bullets, until we kill enough scavs and can pick up um, PS bullets. Because the PS bullets are a million times better, however, they changed the, the unlock requirements as of this wipe, and they have changed it to level 2 Prapple, not level 1. So just pick up enough bullets of these HP ones to get you through, and we will just loot the PS bullets from scavs. Then, what we can do is, we can head to Prapple level 1, and we can pick up this Cobra EKP Reflex Sight. And the modding is simple, you just grab the, the OPSKS dovetail. Oh no, I've already got them attached, my bad. Yes, you just pick up the Cobra EKP Reflex Sight, and just attach it on. Because it's already got the dovetail mount, it just attach the sight automatically. Then, make sure you just load the chamber and load the magazine like that and you can top load it so you can keep the ammo there so that would be my recommendation if you have level 2 prapple 100 percent buy these bullets here if not we'll loot them from scabs anyway the only other thing to make note of if you have one chainlet you can trade one chainlet for the 20 round SKS mag. So if you do have a chainlet, I would recommend trading it early on. So it doesn't really have many other uses. So just that, it just doubles your magazine capacity, so it can be good. But either way, we'll head to woods and I'll show you where to kill some scavs. And one of the things to make note is this is what the weapon looks like. Looks pretty decent. And so we're just using the HP bullets. As you can see, it's already loaded. I can't show the mag, but you can kind of see it there. So what I'd, I like to come up to the top, very top of the map at the scav bunker. That's the convoy over there. Also if you press shift right click you can also change your scope as well if you've got default settings. So that may help you get a better angle with your or better aim. So I like to come up to this location because you can have scavs spawning all over here. So scavs could spawn there and as you can see with that HP bullet with a headshot we were able to take them out in one shot and there's two scavs and so they spawn pretty commonly here so you can definitely loot these depending on what gun they've got if they've got a gun that shoots the same bullet as us the same capacity I would definitely recommend looting looting their body and hopefully getting some PS bullets. And the thing is, the scavs can run all the way down here. They can be down here, or pretty much all over this location. And if you don't have much luck with any of the scavs here, you can even run towards the village and you can go kill, honestly, up to like five or six scavs, depending on how lucky you are. And there's also a lot of cover, so if you've got, if you encounter other players, because it's pretty popular early game, you've, you can also have a good fight with players around here. And one of the things to check is downstairs in this location. This location has a ton of loot, has bags, uh, like duffels, and you can always check here. And as you can see, we just one shot him again. See, still using P, um, not PS, HP bullets. And he didn't have any armor, but we still one shot him nonetheless. So there was three scavs in like less than a minute. I will show you where else I also like to farm scavs. So also as a quick side note, you can also come to the kind of the checkpoint in the middle of the map. There's normally a good chance that scavs are kind of just roaming around in this location. 
which the thing is it's normally very populated it's people are crossing to going through across coming from there coming from over there so i normally avoid this to get the normally in the first day because there's a lot of traffic through here and don't forget to check for the violet key card which will spawn there but anyway continuing on to my second favorite spot so we're pretty much in the area of my favorite spot which is both the scav house kind of open plains area you can kind of see a couple scavs running around a little bit i think i saw two there and then scavs also spawn around here very very often they the reason I don't recommend towards Sawmill is because that's where, well, like, everyone goes, and that's where also things like the Scav boss spawns there, Sturman and his goons, or his minions, and they can be pretty tricky to deal with. So I normally recommend running over here, and just taking them out from a distance. We've got a scope, we've got an SKS. I think I actually took them out. Nice. And so just keep your distance, there's lots of cover. Wouldn't sit up there. If you sit up on that rock there, a lot of people are going to just snipe you because they're used to it. Use this rock as cover, you don't have to jump on it. But you can just, at least one of your sides are covered and you can switch sides each time. But this whole area around here, we're being shot at from somewhere. And as you can see, we are still using the HP bullets. It's not bad. It, it kills scavs. It's not going to kill decked players, but that's why you're moving up to PS bullets when you can afford them. But I think this is all the information you really need to complete the quest shootout picnic. So we'll continue on to reading the rest of the mission. So what we'll do is we'll just cover the rewards you'll receive for completing shootout picnic, and then we'll read over the description like always. So what will you receive? You will receive 2000 XP. 21,800 rubles, which will go up and down depending on your intelligence center. One AKS 74 UN 545 x 39 assault rifle. Three 30 round mags. 90 PPGS bullets for the said gun they've been given. It will unlock the purchase of the Lebedev PL 15 9x19 pistol. 0 0.03 reputation with Prapor and 0 0.01 reputation with Jaeger. Alive and well? boy. Not everyone can boast the same nowadays. You can handle a thing or two since you're standing here alive. That's good. You have an idea of tactics? So here's the challenge. Do you know, do you know that sawmill area in the woods? Yeah, some trusted people have matters to attend to in the area, but local scum, in lack of a good sense, think of themselves as masters of that place. Keep interfering with them. According to my intel, there are at least a dozen of those dickheads, maybe more. I need you to deal with those morons, and the others will run away. The right approach deci decision should not be a problem for a mercenary like you. To work then, soldier!